Hey there, fellow late 90s and early 2000s babies. If you're anything like me, there's a good chance you were or still are a huge Taylor Swift fan. I mean, who could resist her charm and catchy tunes back in the early 2000s, right? Picture this, Taylor Swift, a 16-year-old girl armed with a guitar, capturing our hearts with songs about love and adventure. We couldn't help but relate to her music, and that's when the Swifty phenomenon began. Fast forward to 2023, and Taylor Swift is still going strong, with a massive empire of devoted Swifties eagerly awaiting her every move. But amidst all the hair flipping and genre changes throughout her career, there's one theme that has remained constant, her negative influence on young girls. Take a walk down memory lane through Taylor Swift's albums, and you'll notice a pattern. Every record seems to be linked to a breakup she went through. Remember the album Speak Now and the song If This Was a Movie? Yeah, those were aimed directly at John Mayer after their 2010 split. And let's not forget her more recent album Reputation, which had its fair share of songs trashing her ex-boyfriend Calvin Harris. It's become a trademark of Taylor Swift to draw inspiration from her past relationships for her music. Now, it's not uncommon for artists to use their personal experiences as a muse for their songs. In fact, I admire artists who can dive deep into their own lives and create meaningful art out of it. So what's the problem with Taylor Swift doing the same? Well, the issue lies in the example she sets for young girls and how they should treat men. It's like a never-ending cycle, date a boy, fall in love, get your heart broken, and write songs about him. And what's worse is that nobody seems to mind. In fact, every time Swift has a breakup, everyone's eagerly anticipating her next album and wondering which songs will spill the tea on the breakup. Growing up, Taylor Swift was an idol and held a special place in the hearts of countless girls out there. But instead of teaching us how to respect men and have healthy relationships, she inadvertently sent the message that it's okay to have unstable, sporadic relationships because hey, you can make money off the breakup. Where does this lead her young impressionable audience? Now, I don't believe that Taylor Swift intentionally manipulates her fans when she writes about her past relationships. But it's hard to ignore the pattern of using breakups with men as a way to cash in. So, my fellow Swifties, let's think critically about the messages we absorb from our favorite artists. It's important to celebrate their talent, but also to question the impact they have on our lives. After all, music has the power to shape us, and we deserve to be influenced in a positive and empowering way.